Okay, hi there YouTube. Uh, what I'm going to show you here today is a uh, personal friend of mine's 1956 Ford F100 pickup truck that I know he has personally owned for the last 21 years. Prior to that it belonged to his uncle and this vehicle lived in California in the Mojave Desert. I helped do the bodywork and actually did the paint job on this vehicle in 1993. And it was all done with top quality stuff. It's a glazerate paint is what is on here. It's all German paint. On the windows on the uh, truck, the vent windows have been removed. It has uh, one piece safety glass. The body on it is about as flawless as you're going to find on a 50 year old truck. It has some minor perforations coming through on the passenger side fender. A little crack here. It has a few nicks in the paint. It's got uh, Anson wheels, 15 inch, got some little. This is from being in the garage. This truck probably hasn't had 2,000 miles put on it in the last five years. It's all original Ford sheet metal. There are no aftermarket parts on this vehicle. That's the original 56 Ford hood that louvers have been installed. It also operates hydraulically from inside the cab via two uh, convertible top hydraulic motors and it tilts to the forward which we'll demonstrate and again there are some small little nicks in the black paint you are looking at an original 1956 Ford this is not something that's been built with aftermarket parts and put back together this is original I know I've known this truck for well over 20 years and I know his uncle that this came from out of the Mojave Desert and I'm being showed up here now where back in the 80's this used to be square here it's been welded in and as I said the vent windows have been removed I put this uh, antenna in in the early 90's and it looks really good that's actually off a Camry station wagon And then here we have the interior. It has, I believe it's a leather Volvo bucket seats installed. It's old center console. It has the original heater. It has a low car four speed shifter. In 1993, in my own garage at my house in Jupiter, I had a brand new 700 R4 overdrive transmission installed. It also has a uh, brand new crate motor that was put in in 1993. It's a Chevrolet 350 in the Ford. It has the original steering column. It has the original brake pedals and underneath the carpet it has the original clutch pedal that's still in the vehicle. Looks like uh, Alpine stereo. I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. And it's got the starter. One button does the hood. One button. I don't know what the other one does. Thumbs up, thumbs down. But if you want, you can get in there and uh, make the, the hood go forward. Pop the hood open. It's an electric hydraulic system. And that is very cool. And once again, I can't stress this enough. This is an original steel bodied Ford. There are no aftermarket parts on this. There's been no welding in panels. Nothing. This is original from the desert. Now I'm looking down here on the inner fender. There's a little bit of teeny rust starting to come through. There's the original Ford steering column. This does not have power steering. There's the 350 Chevrolet motor on the kit brackets that were installed so it sits uh, straight up in the frame. It has the original Ford radiator in it still. Not the original, original style. Original style. The wiring has been redone to where all the electronics run off a continuous duty solenoid to the fuse box. There's, you know, there's no Mickey Mouse stuff done to this. There's a ram's horn uh, exhaust on it. There's no headers. 
So it has an entire GM drivetrain, uh, 350 Chevrolet, 700 R4 overdrive transmission, absolutely stock transmission, no valve body, no shift kits, none of that stuff. Stock motor. Stock motor. It's got a Mallory Unilite distributor in it, and the rear axle is out of a 1957 Chevrolet as well. I mean, you're not going to find a nicer one. This is a true desert vehicle. I'm trying to pinpoint any possible flaws it has. It has very little. It's a garage kept vehicle. Down here on the cab corner, I don't know if it's showing, it's just beginning to get some little pimples in the metal. That's forged steel. This has never been patched, never been fixed. There's some Bondo on some dents that were there, but I mean, there's no rot on this vehicle. Um, and again, like I said, I'm the one that painted this 20 some years ago. Belongs to my own personal friend. I know this truck, and it's got a beautiful stuff in it. Obviously, it's got stuff in the back, but you can see it's got the beautiful uh, oak bed in it. This truck needs a little bit of thing, uh, a few you know small items done to it. What it really needs is somebody to put some power steering on it to make it a daily driver. It's got the original tailgate to the best of my knowledge. The chains have been removed and inside it's got some pull pins to open the tailgate so the chains aren't continuously beating the body up. That was done to it also. Trying to go nice and slow. It's got a nice heavy duty fabbed rib bumper on it with a really strong trailer hitch. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you from underneath. But there's the Chevrolet engine, uh, Chevrolet rear end. And I mean, you're not going to find a nice one. This has no rot on it at all. That in and of itself is amazing. You don't find vehicles like this. Somebody wants to finish doing this truck. You're not going to get a nice one. It's not rotten, it has not been patched, and it has not been made out of aftermarket Chinese parts. This is all Ford steel. There are original parts for this available. I think he's got two rear fenders and a front fender, I'm not sure. Two rear fenders and a door. And again, all Ford. This is not a built piece of shit truck somebody threw together. This is the real deal. I've got a little brief history here. In uh, 1993, the Chevrolet crate motor was purchased by my friend Steve and put it in. Uh, the 700R4 transmission was installed by about myself and him about a year later in my garage at my house in Jupiter. A hydraulic hood, it's the low car shifter, Volvo seats, it's got AC, it's got dual tanks, dual gas tanks. It's got a Chevrolet ga uh, saddle tank under the frame, under the passenger seat. Right as you can see it right here, there it is, under the door. And this came from California in the Mojave Desert from his uncle, 1993. In 1993, he drove it from California to Florida. 1996, they moved to Georgia for two years, 96 to 98, and it was garaged in Georgia. It has always had the original Florida title with it. And when it was in Georgia, it was registered, but Georgia does not require a title, and it still has a Florida title, and is currently registered and on the road. It's original now, since, since it came here. Well, since it came here back. Lost when it had three deuces on it. That's the old uh, fuel block right here. This On the other engine that was in here, it had three deuces on a 327 Chevrolet. So it's been Chevrolet powered for a long time. Four windshield washers. Four windshield washers. All the hoses. That are up in the hood right here. Yep, got the squirters up in the hood. Those louvers were put in professionally. It looks really nice. The windshield and everything, it looks like it's got one little teeny scratch in it right here, which you probably can't even come out. You probably can't see it on video. Um, I don't know if you can see the the roof. This at the time when we did it had almost a thousand dollars worth of paint and materials put on it. It was all stripped down, epoxy primed, painted base coat, clear coat. And uh, it's just a cherry Ford.
other than those little scratches and uh, beginnings of a little rust minor coming through on the doors in the back of the cab and once again it does <coughs> never had the power steering put in it so it's got the original Ford straight axle with manual steering and that's really what it's lacking to make this a, a daily driver it's a little Ford step plates Try to back up on it a little bit so you can get a better view of it. Inside the passenger door, what? A little spot of rust inside the passenger door, he's telling me. So I'm going to go look at that. What I'm pointing out, this is all minor. Looks like it was yellow at one time. Where's the rust on the door? Right there. Oh, down here on the body? Yeah. Yeah, got some little bubbles coming through here. What I mean. Good luck finding a better one that lived its life in the desert and then South Florida, Georgia, and in a garage. And all that headliner. And uh, it got washed today and it's going back in the garage. It's no longer, you know, driven on a daily basis. It's probably had a tank of gas a year run out of it for the last couple of years. It's just, it's got like five cars. But, as I said, somebody wants a nice, clean, not a piece of rust junk thing thrown together with aftermarket parts. So, you're not going to find a nice one. That's the original Ford Dash. I'm molested. I was told a speedometer doesn't work. A couple of gauges don't work. You want to start it up? Massive potential. If somebody just did a little work to it, put some power steering on it. Fantastic vehicle. Motor and drivetrain, no issues whatsoever. That's probably about as honest a vehicle as I've seen. I've been doing paint body work for about 46 years. They just don't get a whole lot better than that. And I believe we'll be entertaining office on this truck starting about $25,000. Anything less than that don't bother us. And that is again a 56 Ford F100 that I personally know and have done the work on it for the last 20, so 20 plus years. Okay, so I'm going to cut this short because it's getting a little long, but I just want to put this up there so people can look at it. And that's it. 1956 Ford F-150. Thanks for watching. You can put the hood down real quick. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut this off here. Bye.